In this two minute mini lecture, we're going to outline the blood flow through the chambers of the heart. So the heart has four chambers, two superior chambers that receive blood from veins. These chambers are the right atria and the left atria. Now remember, veins bring blood to the heart. And we have two inferior chambers that pushes or pumps blood out of the heart. These are the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Now remember, arteries take blood away from the heart. So the heart pumps blood in two closed circuits. The first one is the systemic circuit, which takes blood to the body and returns it back from the body to the heart. The second circuit is the pulmonary circuit, which takes blood to the lungs to be oxygenated and returns it from the lungs back to the heart. Now we're going to put these two circuits together and give us the eight steps of blood flow through the heart. Now, before we start, the blue colour denotes deoxygenated blood and the red colour denotes oxygenated blood. So starting at step one, blood will come up from the bottom part of the body, the inferior part of the body, from the legs, from the abdomen, via the inferior vena cava, so that's the IVC. Now from the superior aspect, this comes from the superior vena cava, that drains the head, the neck, the brain, the arms. So we have the SVC, and then the third vessel is the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus drains the heart itself. These three vessels drop blood into the right atria, so that's step two. Blood then goes into the right ventricle through a valve called the tricuspid valve. This valve is here to prevent blood going backwards. So that number three is the right ventricle. Then we have contraction or systole of the heart, which puts, pushes blood out of the ventricle. In this case, it's going to push it into the pulmonary trunk. Now from here, it will go to the left and to the right, to the left pulmonary artery and the right pulmonary artery. Blood that moves through the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk goes through the pulmonary valve, and this prevents blood going backwards into the right ventricle. So blood via the pulmonary arteries is taken to the lungs and is now oxygenated. The blood then returns from the lungs, oxygenated, so now we're in red, via the pulmonary veins. And there are two on each side. Blood then pulls within the left atrium, and then the blood enters the left ventricle on diastole, moving through the bicuspid valve, which prevents blood going backwards up into the left atria. Now in systole, as the heart contracts, blood is pushed into the aorta, through the aortic valve, into the aorta. And here we go into the systemic circuit, the first branches to the heart itself, the coronary, the left and coronary artery, to the arch of the aorta, which goes in the brachiocephalic, the common carotid, the subclavian, and then finally the arch into the thoracic aorta. So now you've seen the blood flow through the heart and the eight steps that it takes to do so.